Another Invrosia attempt in 3, 2, 1, go. Big key right away for Skull. You know what, that's fine. That's an extra item for free. I'm gonna try the exact same thing, though. Please go away. Killed four enemies, so tier three is just ten arrows. That kind of sucks. But I could quickly see what the tier one pull is. Tier one is small magics, so eh, neither of those are really helpful. And I also don't have the money to farm digging game. Or to even go for digging game right now. So, rip. I don't want to die again. I can do archery game now to get money for digging game. That's good. If I had another early death, I would have just called it quits entirely. <laughs> like, this is just... Sometimes you just gotta know when to not play. Yeah, that's fair. There's so many small things with this mode, though, that I need to... I need to be pretty familiar before the race next week. And if I had waited, I wouldn't have really had the time to play this, so... I guess ultimately the goal is to just be aware of all things inverted. And not let them trip me up during the actual race. Beyond that, I just need to execute. And I, I know I'm capable. I had some pretty crazy moments in week 7 last week with Willard. Well, I mean like half of GT on half of a damn heart. Is that green pendant pod again? It was. You start in the dark world? Yes, I do. That much I know. I'm always scared to try that kill. <laughs> Flipper's up there, okay. See, the other problem with trying another seed this soon after trying the first one is the risk of seed blur. And just thinking, oh no, I, I found that in the other spot. No, I didn't. And just not remembering. And that's awful. Well... <laughs> I'm not gonna have the same issue in Ice Palace this time if the berries are dropping bombs. Yeah, I mean, you kinda have to. My days of running three seeds a day are long gone. I don't know how the hell I managed that years ago. Did he seriously?
he did. Yeah. I don't remember which tournament that was, but he did do that. I remember that. And he had a pretty good record, too, I believe. Um, I still only have one bomb. Oh well. Lamp? Okay, so now I'm expecting a glove. Go up the mountain and then that would already be light world access. Bomb locked bombs, that's fantastic. And there it is. Called it. Yeah, way too many now. I should be good for a bit. Gosh, these guys are in the bomb pack too. Shouldn't have any issue staying stocked up then. There's, well, like seven or eight different prize packs assigned to different groups of enemies in this game, and I've already found several that are dropping bomb packs. Oh my god, I don't need any more. Alright, hype cave and then up the mountain. Only in Inverted can you have, like, seven more checks to hopefully find a hammer or another glove to avoid doing the tower, and you still always wind up doing the tower. lie. Was there a summer 2021 tournament then? I thought they were going down to one a year. I thought it would have been spring in 2021 rather than... I don't know, July's a weird time of year to run a tournament. No? I'd be curious to know which tournament it was then. I mean, we could always just get lucky and have him pop in here in the next three minutes somehow and then ask him. There's always that chance.
Yo, what's up, Cronus? How you doing? <laughs> Not too bad. It's been an okay day. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. It's not done yet. There we go. We're safe. It is. Yeah, Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. Six and one. Not bad for doing seven in one day. I don't think I could do that. I wonder, like, was it on challenge? Is that where you're looking at it? Maybe you could see what tournament that was in then. Or seriously, if all else fails, we could just, like, ping him. I'm sure he remembers the day quite well. Alright, I need to... I need to at least try this. This bridge is not friendly, though. That worked out, though. was really hoping to get bailed out here. <laughs> oh! I needed like another two iframes and I could have made it to the other side. Wondering if a sequence break across the river would have been fine. Dip right into pod, maybe find the hammer or the mitts there. That would be amazing, actually. But the more I'm playing of this, the more I'm starting to remember why I hate inverted routing. It's the late dark world, light world. I keep getting that mixed up. It's the late light world that just makes it feel absolutely horrible. You get to like 30, 40 minutes in on these seeds and feel like you've done absolutely nothing. It's not a good feeling.
Got it. Yeah, I don't remember what tournament was going on then. So here's the other problem. Not only does the Light World access feel super late, but now I've got incentive to actually go through all of Escape. Which is already another five minutes of my time. Honestly, best case for a seed like this is very early Light World access, not through the tower. Or, you know, maybe it's just a shitty mode. I don't think there's anything wrong with saying that. Popping vampire boss. I have not heard that before. That's a new one to me. Tap early. So if the small key... Well, it could be in Dark Cross either way, but if it's not in the next chest, it won't be in Zelda's cell. that fit that exact description in Spelunky 2, now that you mention it. That sounds incredibly familiar. And actually, I think something like that happened in Dragon Ball Super as well. for a small key and dark cross or else this is going to get really annoying because it is just better to walk all the way through if you can small key. God damn it. That's annoying. Um, I can go get the flippers though, which is also annoying. This is just really annoying. I'm gonna skip the flippers for now, I think. You know, back to the idea of maybe playing Majora's Mask tonight, you realize the only thing that's fun about it is the first 30 seconds when you hear what the hell the dog sounds like. After that, it's all downhill. But I think that's enough for me to actually roll one. <laughs> I was watching someone last night or the night before just casually play Majora's Mask, and they got to the doggy racetrack. 
And it sounded normal, but all I could hear was the heh heh. That was the only sound playing in my mind. Alright, cool. So this was useless. And yeah, that took about five, six minutes or so to get through all of Escape. And now we just get to walk through all of this again. But beyond that, I should be able to branch out pretty well from how the other seed was going. Nothing ideal about this, but all of my pendants are relatively low requirement, so I should just check it. Don't need it. Don't want it, don't care.
Hookshot's good. Hmm. I would like boots. question in a situation like this is, do I dip desert? And I think I can. There's enough other stuff to do in this area to justify it. Twenty twenty one French tournament. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, I, I figured it was a group stage to have that kind of a race load. Well, I'm glad that wasn't for Desert. That would have made things pretty interesting. Nothing good on the ledge. This kind of feels not amazing, I guess. But sure, why not? I'll see what happens. minutes, wow. I'm done here. That's, that's a hefty loss. But hey, rando's gonna rando, things happen. A 126? I don't know, what was the mode? Excuse me while I just get pinballed on that screen. Thank you. 
Just run it through Google Translate, I'm sure it'll be fine. No, don't, don't worry about it. You've found more than enough information. It's a table? What is that? Okay. Why did I roll a second seed? So fortunately, these checks aren't actually out of logic, despite me not having the flippers, because I could just go get them right now. If there's anything on the ledge, I'm going to be pretty sad, though. I'm not sad. Hooray. The thing that's awkward right now is not having a crystal to go beat. No. Damn it. Well, now he's just gone. Oh, okay. I don't remember if I liked that style or not. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mirror is actually exactly what I wanted to see here. That's a really good find right now. That's not so great though. Full float! Thanks for the raid, how was the rest of your... Hard map compass shuffle. Hopefully fantastic. Hello, Rick! I am on my second Inverosia seed for the night. I gave a very strong forfeit to the first one. After dying on Cold Stair and then running out of bombs before the last- or before the bomb jump the second time through. I was just, you know what? I don't want to play this anymore. I don't have hammer, why am I going in here? Linear and slower? I actually prefer linear seeds. I do better with them overall. I don't know what I was thinking there. None of that worked out. I mean, if the game's just gonna give me half magic like that, yeah, I'll, I'll just use the cape on the bridge. That's fine. I'm still not in any real hurry to go get those flippers either, because they don't really open anything for me.
Yeah, I, I guess it, I, that effect is kind of lost on me at this point, but they certainly did put a lot into this game. It's a very large world. There's a lot to explore, a lot of very intricate cave systems, like on this mountain here. And in this particular mode of the randomizer, the logic that's in place for navigating these caves is... It's weird. There, There's a lot of weird gotchas with them. And things that are logically possible that just don't feel right at all. Um, do I even want to be in the light world? I don't know where I want to be right now. I think going over to Eastern is probably fine. Despite not having a bow. I know right where the bow is, I just need boots that I don't have. Um, I should see what's here though, because this could actually be really important. I hope it's not. Well, the thing that makes it not so bad to remember with the randomizer is that it's all... pretty much everything's in the same location every time you play. The part that gets really, really confusing is when you add, like, entrance shuffles into it, or... the doorways within dungeons, you can actually shuffle those around and basically have completely new dungeon layouts now. And that's just flat-out difficult. There's another bow! Okay, this is actually really neat. And the big key for thieves, well... I don't have a hammer. So I can't really clear any of this. Um, but like, there's a racing platform called The Ladder that has a new season starting tomorrow, and I guess they've actually added insanity entrance to the rotation of game modes. And Insanity Entrance... Like, if I go into Eastern Palace right here... It's gonna spit me out somewhere different. And that's an absolute mindfuck. It's fun! But it is... absolutely exhausting to play. Yeah, I, I think looking at the schedule, I'm fortunate that I'm not going to have a chance to be tempted by that Iceman. Not in the first week, anyway. Although tomorrow at 1am, there's a, a cross keys I might, might do. I've done entrance shuffles like that with Ocarina of Time. I actually, I didn't really struggle with them. I had a, a pretty good spreadsheet made up that helped me really keep track of everything that I was doing. Yo, sleep well, dude. Have a good night. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, Rick. I'm actually kind of looking forward to League being done. I mean, I want to go as far as we can in the playoffs, but... I, I'm ready for a break as well. Curse? You're gonna curse our squad? Wow. You know what? That's not a very good spot to mirror, is it? Clearly not.
Oh, that counts as cutscene damage. Oh well. Um. That almost knocked me into the portal. That would have been funny, actually. You know, it depends on how far you want to take the cursing, Jazz. Maybe it violates some community etiquette rules. Maybe it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly how that damage works. You can still get hit during cutscenes. Hello! Hammer's amazing. No, you know what's not amazing? <laughs> you remember what I said when I started to climb Aga Tower? I had actually teased the idea of maybe sequence breaking the east side. <laughs> and coming here. And if I had done that, I would have had a hammer and I would have been able to skip the tower. I think in an actual race setting, that kind of a sequence break's actually not that bad. I'm making all sorts of mental notes right now. You know what? No, this that needs to be a small key. I'm not going down there. Or up, up there. That one. That's a small key. Or... nope, okay, I forgot about the bridge chest. It doesn't need to be a small key. I am gonna go get it. But it was anyway. But it didn't need to be. And that's why I did it. So now I actually have... two crystals that I can beat. I can beat Hera and I can beat Swamp. I need to get the flippers first, but I, they're accessible, so I can... I can do everything I need to there. Oh my god, D-pad please. Up one, down one, there we go. Alright, I'm glad I didn't leave. There's an item on the boss. I will go get it quickly. What do the boots let me do, though? They don't get me anything into another dungeon yet.
agora? That's good. There are many things I can do with that. Get the flippers right. I've got actually a pretty okay route in my mind at the moment. And this routing's actually halfway working out right now. I'm trying to piece it all together because it's still a little weird. So there's a bow in the library, and the other bow was on. Saha, this is also not where I need to go. Yes! <laughs> yeah, I figured, let me let me see how many I get by the end of this seed. I haven't checked it, I muted the, the conversation immediately. <laughs> Was that bad of me? <laughs> um, okay, so... Bow in Saha's closet, bow on the library, boots in pod. If I had Kern jumped to get to pod early, I would have gotten that hammer, which would have been fine, but I would have had to double dip pod no matter what. So, this actually doesn't feel awful. Aga was still optional because of that. But I don't think this is nearly the worst thing that could have happened. Also, I have another crystal I can beat. Let's... let's go. I can beat Hera, I can beat Swamp, I can beat Thieves, and I can probably beat Mire. I am Fire Rod and Eastern Big from Go? That's not so bad. I'm feeling something Dunkachino themed. Um, so the inspiration for that tweet though, Pool Float, was that my initial going live tweet tonight got liked by a supposed graphic designer. And that's happened twice now in like the last two weeks. And I kind of thought about doing it then.
I could do smith chains on the way down. It's literally right on the path. It would be the most convenient time to do it. I just don't like doing a bunch of extra things either. It's, I don't know. I think I do Swamp first, in this case. I think that's just all around faster. Nice, now I can go all the way back to do Magic Map. Oh hey, by the way, an idea that I've been toying with, since I'm going to be off for a week in January when I move, I'm, again, more than halfway considering doing a mini shuffler. It would be a very stripped down version of what I did back in July. 
but it would still have all of the same kind of variety. I just wouldn't put multiple instances of the same game in. Gotta see how the first couple days of the move go, but I think that actually sounds like a lot of fun. Visit this. Fire Rod and Sword are probably all that I need. I don't think I'm going to need Bombos, but I might. sword. Fire Rod would absolutely be go mode right now. Probably. Two items left side. Rip. That sucks. Yo, have a good night, Pool Flow. Thanks again for the raid. See ya around. Okay, that's not Fire Rod, but that guarantees me Meyer and Ice Palace entry. So Fire Rod is basically only necessary right now for Turtle Rock itself. Two items left side, do I go back in? I, th I think I do. Not a super fun decision, but I think I need to. I this is one of those things, you skip it right now and then you go clear three other dungeons, this is the last place you're coming back to.
Alright. Ice Palace into Eastern. And then Meyer. I should get up to Hera at some point, I guess. You know what? Hold on a moment. Hold on. This is gonna be the fastest catfish check ever. This is one of the good things about Inverted. That's not the fire rod, but I will take a tempered sword. Yeah, still a, a good red, no doubt. Fire sword, could be that. Itsu, good evening, how are you? I do not have any cats behind me. I feel very alone. Kitty just kicked you off the bed, nice. You know what, I shouldn't be hitting the switch here, I'm full clearing. Whatever. You're trying to lay with your head where your feet normally are, and that's his spot, okay. Well, what if your feet were there? Would he have complained about that? I see, but not really interested in laying on your head. I'm not sure if I just heard Piper or not. Kind of hard to tell, this game volume's a little bit loud. Wrong red thing. We're gonna play that game now. Right color, wrong item.
Alright, not dying this time. I have like four times the health. I just saw that, it's you. Smug little shit. Much better. Mostly how it was supposed to go. Oh, I just got an itch on my back in like the one spot that you can never reach. And this chair is not abrasive enough. Which is actually a good thing. I wouldn't want an abrasive chair. You know, I should have known that was the compass. There is a way for me to have tell to known that. I will say, now that I'm done with Ice Palace, the point that I couldn't get through in the first seed, I'm actually glad that I rolled another one. I'm glad that I didn't just give in to the anger and not keep playing. That's apparently not a safe mirror spot. I thought I was down far enough. I'm gonna quickly do Hera. And then... Go to Meyer. That seems fine. Maybe. This might not have been the faster way though, I probably should have just gone across the top, whatever. Oh, I wanted to get silvers when I was doing smith chain. Oops. Now I, I kind of want to go get those before I do Meyer. I goofed on that for sure, skipping over those.
There we go again! Right color, wrong item. Okay, good. I don't have to go to the basement. Compass is down there. And I guess I should... probably... do Spike Cave after this. Looks like playoff threads just rolled out. <laughs> Yo, Locke! You brought your team into the playoffs, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Thanks for the raid, dude! Is that what you were doing tonight? Were you playing? This garbage? Or were you shuffling? Tiebreaker race? Oh, you had a tiebreaker race. So you, you were just playing a different mode of this shit, I get it. What's up, Kamurai Shazbot Lax? How are you? Nice, FF6. Way to go. Profile, hello. I am kind of hating Ambrosia. Very quick recap, this is the second seed that I played tonight. The first one I forfeit at 40 minutes in. I died on Cold Stair and then ran out of bombs trying to get back through the dungeon. Uh, so I just forfeit, loaded up another one here. That's how my night's been going. This one's going better. This one's had some weird logical stuff going on, though. Like, I thought I made a big mistake with some routing that may have actually been okay. Inverted bad, yeah, basically. Chelsea's gonna wake up with some awful news because you got your team in the playoffs. Hey, you don't join the league unless you're committed until you're actually fully out. That'll teach her, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Blame the weird Link sprite? What are you talking about? This is vanilla Link. I don't know what you mean. Is this even a safe spot, or am I just on something? No, that was safe, actually. Interesting. So I'm a fire rod from Go at this point. Which feels okay. That's not so bad, right?
Yeah, so this seed kind of messed me up early because I had like all the gear to go up Aga Tower, and as I'm climbing Aga Tower, I'm like, hey, maybe I should Kern Jump and go to Pod. Because Hammer or Mitz would have gotten me Light World outside of the tower. So then I get to Pod like 20 minutes later, and hey, there's a Hammer there! <laughs> Um, but both bows were in the light world, so had I done that sequence break early, I may have missed out on a bow for a while. And guaranteed double dip into pod then. Um, which was green pendant, and green pendant became Kana Samaria. So, I don't know, it's a really weird thing that seemed like a good bad idea that would have worked out, and then maybe not worked out. Inverted's weird. It is dumb, and the slow start is really the issue that I have with it. It's just not super fun to play because of that. But yeah, I guess this is going okay. I just figured since my opponent messaged me what mode we were going to play, I would do the responsible thing and actually try to run a seed. Mid-game invert is probably your favorite non-entrance phase? Really? See, mid-game is what I hate the most because it's like, why are you doing a 30-minute Kakariko? That just feels horrible. Have I found a single item yet? I don't think I have. I think I've gotten one. I gotta go left side. Lock, I almost banned you. I saw a link. And usually it's like bigfollows.com or some shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Shazbot, you actually have bot in your username. Don't make this too easy for me. Speaking of bots, um, I decided to tweet out a bunch of, like, graphic-related terms, like, just emotes and art and things like that, and then I muted it immediately at the start of this seed, and when I finish it, I'm gonna see how many bots have replied to it. <laughs> it's, like, borderline pidge levels of meme. Actually, I wonder if Pidge has ever done that. Probably not. Pidge is a classy memer. The bad mirror locations, right? Because K45, Graveyard Ledge, those are just fixed. Hook, uh, top of Hookshot Cave, Floating Island, that one is... Well, let's talk about that for a moment, Tophile. Like, when you have Aga Tower as your excess, and then you're on top of the castle, I think it's pretty standard to go through all of Escape, right? Pretty much front to back. But that just feels like another slow, painful six minutes, and it's just not fun. See, talking about mirror logic though, one of the things that I like 
and I actually just did it right before Ice Palace, was going through the portal to Zora and then mirroring and having a super fast catfish. And this is why I wanted silvers. Um, I need to come up with something to do though, like now. Desert is logically as done as it can be. Skull is as done as it can be. Turtle Rock is as done as it can be. What have I not... done? Alright, I can't mirror here. I've got Magic Bad in both bonk spots. I've not done a 600 plus game shuffler. I have done... some degree of shuffling, though. And actually, just maybe 15 minutes before Lock's Raid, I was talking about maybe doing a mini shuffler next month when I've got a week off of work after moving. So that's that's actually something I'm considering pretty strongly. And honestly, if I had the time, shuffler was a ton of fun. I would do a lot more of it. There's Piper. Avoid playing inverted. That's my goal every time I play this game anyway. Okay, after this it's magic bad and then I'm not sure what I've missed. Because at this point, I'm thinking that there's there's actually a location that I've just forgotten about. It's called Forfeit, yes. You're not wrong, I'll take that answer. Alright, is it panic time? It might be panic time. It's not panic time. It's... no, it's, it's not panic time. That's what I needed. Come on. Come on up. Come on. There we go, you're not normally so shy about this. Dude, where was Powder? How late did I get Powder in this seed? Was it in Swamp? It might have been in Swamp. I'm trying to decide if Fire Rod right there feels awful or not. And I'm just not sure. I mean, it does because that was last location. Yeah, you know what, let's just go with that. It feels awful because it was last location. Also, I am playing with like half of a screen visible right now because of Cattail. Now I can see, I'm just gonna have head nuzzles to distract me.
Indigo Plateau, interesting. Ten seconds to pet you while this head explodes. And then another ten seconds when the head explodes, and then another ten seconds when the crystal falls. I have no idea what you're doing right now. Thank you. That Indigo Plateau music is just awesome. It's really great. Alright, let's go. I still don't know how I feel about Wario's Battle Cannon... Canyon... ...being the music for this place. God, because of the way this cat is laying on me right now, I cannot item dash the way I like to. I cannot really hold the controller the way I prefer to. You'd like Inverter a lot less if you didn't play random GT, random Ganon, and fast Ganon? I, am I going to get banned from racing if my cat makes an input? Is that technically receiving help? Does my cat count as someone else in the room that I'm talking to? Oh, she sure does, Rick. She wakes me up several times a night every night. Big Key of Swamp, fuck you. I forgot that this mode can do that. Big Keys are shuffled. GT Big Key's still in here, but you can find other Big Keys. <laughs> Gotta make sure my cat's not looking at the screen. Right. I mean, she kind of is right now. I have to ask, Camera, what's the point of a three crystal fast cannon if the alternative is just don't play? I think don't play is the winning answer in that case. Is that it, or is that desert? God damn it. Alright, well, next key that I see is going to be the one I need. Did not mean to hit that portal, but that's fine. Thank you. 
It's kind of like the lottery. It's nothing but bad things when you try to play. But because of the chance that you might win... Is it gonna be Tile Room? Is it gonna be Tile Room? It is Tile Room! Let's go! Oh well. A 140 cross key seed. I had... It had to have been ladder. I, I kind of want to check this now. <laughs> ladder, view all ranking season 2, because that's the easiest way for me to find me. Cross keys. My fastest cross keys. Was a... 139.44. And that... I don't really remember anything about it at this point, but that seed was just... Absolute lightning. I just hit the route, I guess. I, I don't know what to say on that one. I've only had in total like two or three that were under two hours. It just doesn't happen often. Like, yeah, you, you see those times every now and then on the ladder. And... Like, even, even having done one myself, I don't understand how people get times that low on cross keys. Like, it's... It's... Probably more... It's probably better than the equivalent of sub-hour on, like, a standard or open seed. It's really just incredible. Now, the thing with, with cross keys, though, to counter that Camerai is how volatile the routing can be. Relative skill for the game is much less of an impact in a mode like that, I think. But thank you, I do appreciate the confidence. Yeah, I mean, it's so easy to go through a connector and, like, be sent down a 20-minute expedition that you didn't need to do. And that's not your own fault at all. It's just how that mode works. Well, I'm not even gonna sub 150 this. Probably not. I, I really don't think I will. I, 
I can honestly tell you the last handful of seeds I've played, that's been my average. I don't remember the last one I played that was like a low two hour seed. I don't remember what time I got though in week six of the league. I can look at that in a moment. I'm actually curious. I don't remember if that was a good one or not. Sure, okay. That worked. League. Team. Me. I had a 145 <laughs> uh, in cross keys. That was week six, right? Good God. Yeah, I mean, it's not even necessarily clown play. I'm not really a big fan of that myself. That's really not my style. Oops. Well, I'm glad I walked into the bat instead of Ganon. But whatever. So what are we doing after this? Should I actually do Majora's Mask Rando? And hate myself for five hours? I didn't think I was going to get the triple. The little bit of lag on the the edge there kind of stopped that. Alright, so we are sub-150. We take that. Actually, that's not... I don't think that's great. For... Standard and open modes, 130 is, is a great benchmark, I think. I guess I, I kind of expect that for inverted as well, but I, I don't... Maybe that's not equivalent. I don't know. I'm not totally sure. That sounds like an awful idea. It, it is. Well, let me see if anyone's done this async yet. I'm guessing probably not. Inverosia 2... The links are broken. Cool. Thanks everyone for the GG's. I'm gonna try to find the results page for this one in Brosia 2. Nobody has done this yet. And the formatting on this spreadsheet is less than ideal. Gotta post my... classic VOD. Just for the lulls. Because when you, when you fill out these async forms, like, they give you a spot to post your VOD if you want to. And I just always kind of post this, because it's funny. Also, I'm going to fast forward through this. Because this is like the same four measures of music over and over again, and it's just a bit much.
the also the story behind why that song became so funny to me is that from time to time, even still, like I, I'll fall asleep to a video game playlist. Um, and like 4 a.m. one night, that song came on, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And I was so scared, and it woke me up, and it was never on the playlist again. <laughs> No, that's like those old jump scare videos, Lax. Where it's all peaceful and great and sincere, and then there's just like a horrid face of like lunch lady screaming at you. That's not nice. Spam. Alright, that's it for Inverosia. Um, cool, thanks for watching A Link to the Past. I'll be right back and we'll do something else because I'm not really tired. That mid-afternoon nap kinda woke me up a bit, which is kinda good. So, I'll be back very soon. And you're heading to bed, sounds good. Have a good night, old sleepy man. See ya!